Do I even have to tell y'all why I like this here? I said, the tag back, stop what you're doing, come over. 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 What's up, YouTube friends? It is your girl, Kaylani, also known as Kay, and we are kicking off another vlog, y'all. We are in the car with a little spotlight going on. This is your first time here. Hey, hello, how are you? What have you been up to? So glad you could stop by and say hi. And I hope you stick around and stay and become a part of the friend zone. And to become a part of the friend zone, all you gotta do is click that subscribe button. And it's just as simple as that. It costs you absolutely nothing. And for my returning subscribers, Hey friends, I miss y'all, give me a hug. So, it is Friday, my favorite day of the week. I realized we hadn't did a morning on our way to work chat in a minute. So, nor have we done the interesting conversations or interesting situations. And we had some interesting conversations. And I just wanted to come and talk to y'all about it real quick. I ain't gonna need much hold, y'all. Um, okay. One of the topics that we, I talked about with someone earlier this week was, uh, ladies, this is for you. Are you okay with your man going to the strip club? And just in case you're saying, I need more information, let me rephrase it. Are you okay with your man going to the strip club with his boys? Go ahead and put that answer in the comments. That's Kiki, let's talk about that. I'll start. I absolutely don't have a problem with it. But here's... However, here's where it, here's where it throws me off. I'm I'm 25 twice. So in the event that I'm in a relationship, more than likely he's going to be older than 24 twice. So he may be 24 twice plus three or four. You know what I'm saying? So we we're talking mid 50. So tell me at what point you going to the strip club get gross. And when I mean, when I say gross, I'm like, bro, the average stripper is in their 20. So if you, your old ass sitting on the side of the stage with your little rust ass dollar trying to put it in the crack of her ass, that's giving me borderline gross. Is it me or am I just overthinking? Am I overthinking it? Put that in the comments, y'all. That's number one. Number two. First date. Which one would you go to for your first date? I put this question in my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, why not? You're missing out. But I put this poll on my... And I was pleasantly surprised that... A lot of people tend to agree with what I said. But would you prefer your first date at the movies or at an escape room? I I put put your answer in the comments and, we'll, and let's talk about it. But for me, I prefer the escape room over the movie. And you probably saying why? movies is probably more intimate because you like the guy and all that well I'm at a particular age where me liking you I, I need more than that I need to know who you are how you are how you handle situations how you know if you get upset do you raise your voice do you uh I, I need to know all that before I can like you I need to know how you handle situations and if we're put in an escape room situation, it's going to show me some things. Not everything, but it's going to show me. It's going to show me how you handle pressure. 
you know, can you figure things out for us? You know, so to me, an escape room for versus the movies is a perfect first date to see how someone is. That's just me. Y'all tell me what y'all think. A topic of discussion. Questions I have for y'all. Things I want to talk to y'all about. When you go out to eat with your significant other first date or whatever, and you arrive to the restaurant, do you prefer to sit in the dining room or at the bar? Do I even have to tell y'all why I like to sit? I mean, if you if this your first time watching, let me go ahead and reintroduce myself. Girl, I'm a boy chick, honey. I'm a boy chick. I, I, I'm a boy chick. I'm a boy chick. I'm a boy chick. The only time I'm going to sit at the dining room is if it's uh, I'm invited somewhere and they're sitting there, or if it's um, too many of us to sit at the bar. Other than that, y'all, I'm a boy chick all day, hands down. Mm. You know, I've heard when I had the conversation this week that we're like. We, we can sit across from each other. It, you know, sitting at the dining room, you're able to sit across from each other. Yeah, but where my bartender? I'd rather sit across the from my bartender. <laughs> no shade, but across from my bartender. Oh, we're getting to the point where we really don't need this light. Um, but I just want to put those topics with you guys, y'all. Start the day off with a little trivia, a little get to know y'all get to know what's what's up with the friend zone i want to see how how my my peeps my friends think so just in case i come to y'all city and we hang out i need to know we going to the skate room we going to the movies we sit at the ball we sit at the i need to know these things <laughs> so okay y'all let me get out get ready to pull up and get all the stuff out the car and i'll be back check with you guys real quick because I wanted to put you guys on to something. Y'all, have you ever wanted to yourself? Wait a minute, y'all. Get into these eyebrows. What y'all think? Am I getting better? <laughs> anyway, y'all, have you ever wondered to yourself, if you're a candle, are you a candle, first of all, are you a candle person or incense person or nothing at all? I need to know this, y'all. Put that down in the comments so I can know. Tell me y'all business. Um, have you ever wondered to yourself, what does the Walmart candle smell like? And is it worth me purchasing a Walmart, a Walmart candle? Well, I have the answer to you. I don't know about all of them. <laughs> but I can vouch with this particular candle here. Yeah. Baby, take a screenshot and thank me later. Take a screenshot. It is the mainstream. It's the scent for me. Baby, it is the scent for me. It, this smell, it says highly fragranced. And it is not lying because it's not lit. And when I walked into the office, I smelled it as if it was lit. It's so strong that I have to put it in another office. So, cause it's, it's, you, it's, it's potent. It's potent. If you put this in your front room, your whole house is going to smell good. And you're probably saying, what does it smell like? It's scented with watermelon, sweet cantaloupe and honey. And baby, if you wondering what that smell like, it smell like mama made it. it, it, it that's, that's what this smell like, y'all. Get this candle, please. This smells so good. It is, I would not stare you wrong. 
get into this. And no, this is not sponsored. This is because I believe in this Walmart candle. You got to go check it out. So get a screenshot. Yeah. Let's get into an update. The dating app. How's that going? It's not. What's up, friends? We are back. It is the next day, and we are in the car. We are in the car running a couple of errands. We do have plans for today, y'all. Y'all, we're going skating. The <laughs> crickets. Yeah, well, I don't know what this is going to bring. But in the meantime, right now, we are getting ready to pull up to one of my favorite coffee shops that I have not been to in a minute to get some coffee um, and then we need to get some groceries and yeah go to FedEx and stuff we just we got some stuff to do guys we just got some stuff to do but right now let's get this coffee Okay, guys, we're back in the car with this not so healthy um, coffee. It has double espresso in it. It is super good. And I just had a taste for it this morning. So that's what we got, y'all. So now, ooh, my me. I, you know, I know this. Look here, I know this is a, a great coffee shop. Great, definitely underrated. They actually need more around. This is literally the only one I know of. The name of it is Summer Moon. I absolutely love it, y'all. But um, I need to find out if they have more. So I don't just have to come to this one. But um, who would have ever thought? Hold on, y'all. Oh, okay, Sapphire, shit disrespectfully um who would have ever thought that you would get excited for three dollar gas definitely not the kid but um i'm looking at the app and it's showing me that i can get gas for like three dollars and 47 cent 29 cent or something like that but it's it's telling me shell on fry which is where i am but it's two of them on here so y'all we're about to get on i'm about to see which shell it is and then i'm gonna come back and tell y'all what's up what I, I am back i'm sorry the tv is loud i'm trying to get ready i'm running a little bit late you know you guys but i mean i'm like where has she been Y'all, I hooked up with. Yeah, I was looking up with. Um, I caught up with a homie I hadn't heard from in a minute, and we were together for hours just drinking that and catching up, y'all. Uh, so I didn't have a camera. Needless to say, I'm trying to get these out. Y'all know. Y'all know what's going on. Yeah, I know how we do. Um, hey guys, this, this. I know I ain't in the back. I just didn't want to just pop up at this the skating ring. So I want to come on and talk to you guys, let you guys know what was going on. Some shorts, some jean shorts. I wish I never wear it. So this is about to be different. Some jean shorts and a little t-shirt. Anyway, guys. Oh, Lord. Look over there, girl. Um, anyway, guys, y'all. I'm already running behind. And I still got to grab something to eat. I need a little snack. So, I will see you guys in the video.
are back. Um, we're back. Uh, it's been a couple of days. And when I say a couple of days, I think the last time we talked was Saturday. It is now Tuesday, and I realized that um, it was, I was, it's time to it's time to edit the vlog. And there was no closing to the vlog. We Saturday just took me on a well. I think the last time we talked, we were heading to the skate room. AKA the kitty get down because it was only kids there. And when I say kids, I'm talking middle schoolish, freshman, maybe sophomore-ish, you know? Um, when we got there, it was, everything took, I, I had these extravagant plans of taking you guys skating. But when we got there, y'all, first of all, the skating ring was behind two buildings. It was behind a building. I mean, it was a soccer thing. It was a jumping thing. It looked like it was closed down, a soccer thing. And it was in the back. Then you tap your car trying to get to the back because it's all type of gravel and whatnot. Um, it was all type of gravel and whatnot. That you had to drive. Y'all look good, like, okay. So then, y'all, when we back, when we get to the back, we get out, go in, think it is, you know, it's a skate ring. Ma'am, you cannot bring gum in here. Chewing gum? Why not? He pointed at the, uh, the sun and said, no gum. I should have took a picture of him. Because I, I swear I thought he was joking. So then we took, now you can't even chew gum going in there. You can't have the gum at all. So he made us take the gum back to the car. Because, yes, they check your purses. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It was SWAT team that greeted us at the door. I mean, at the SWAT team. Wait, what? Why are y'all out here? So then we, uh, they go through my friend's purse. She got a comb. They say that's a sharp art object. I swear it was like getting into the penitentiary. I spit a big You can't have nothing. So anyway, we finally do all that. Get ready to go in. And somebody forgot to turn the damn air on because it was hot. It was hot. It was hot, hot. So at that point, I knew in my mind I wouldn't skate. Because I knew I know when skate, y'all. I'm sorry y'all had to hear this loud as air condition. I know when skating, uh that was gonna be, I was gonna be sweating and I won't go ahead and wear the cool on. So if I just sit here, I'll be cool and we'll be fine. So y'all, that's what that was. And then I had a good time with the people that were there. I really did. It was it was good seeing people and watching them and you know, enjoy themselves. We, it was, it was, we made the best of it. It was cool. But yeah, if y'all, if y'all have a party there, don't invite me. Call me for the after party. And I'm, I'm there. Your girl there. Anyway. That's pretty much all I did. Um, Sunday, we edited the vlog, the video that went up today. The haul. If you have not checked it out, this is your chance to go ahead and do so after you finish this vlog. Shameless plug. Um, what else, guys? I haven't really done anything. Um, we left work early today because we have a one o'clock appointment. I don't know. I don't know if this is the end of a vlog or the beginning. I don't know if this is the end of the vlog or if we're gonna do something else or not. But. I said, take back. Stop what you're doing. Come on.